वेलकम टू इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ क्वालिटी एंड रिलायबिलिटी हाय दिस इज हेमन प्लीज वॉच अवर वीडियोज ऑन एक्सपोनेंशियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड प्रोबेबिलिटी प्लॉटिंग बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो फॉर बेस्ट व्यूइंग एक्सपीरियंस लिंक्स टू दीज वीडियोज इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो एक्सपोनेंशियल प्रॉबेबिलिटी प्लॉटिंग इन दिस वीडियो we will explain procedure for probability plotting to identify whether failure data of a component can be modeled using exponential distribution we will also explain how to estimate the parameters mean time to failure mttf and failure rate lambda using the plot as we know reliability in case of exponential distribution is given by e to the power minus lambda t Suppose we take logarithm of both sides then ln of reliability of t would be equal to minus lambda t thus if we plot reliability of t on y axis and time on x axis and the points are following a line we can conclude that the failure data is following exponential distribution consider the following data of failures This data is taken from reliability handbook by Dimitri Kesesioglu. We will now illustrate the procedure for exponential probability plotting using Microsoft Excel for the data that was shown earlier. This is the data of failures of six components. First we need to sort this data in ascending order. So I use Excel to sort use the custom sort and failure hours smallest to largest so excel has sorted the data from minimum to maximum number of hours now i provide failure order number j from 1 to 6 at 250 hours we have the first failure at 750 we have the second etc so we put 1 2 3 4 5 6 if we consider this data as representative although we have only sample of 6 numbers at 250 hours we can say that one out of 6 has failed so if we want to estimate the proportion failing it will be equal to 1 upon 6 for the second one it will be j upon 6 and so on i can copy this formula so for the last one it will be 1 i reduce the decimals of this but is this correct if we consider this as correct by 5400 hours all the components will fail and below 250 hours 16.7% will fail statisticians have recommended a correction or modification in this number and that is called median rank and that median rank can be calculated by this formula j minus 0.3 upon n plus 0.4 that formula is written over here and we will use this formula to calculate the median rank what is median rank median rank indicates estimated probability of failure f of t at 50% confidence level so let us use the median rank so i'll say okay equal to j is i select the cell minus 0.3 divided by n plus 0.4 will all be 6.4 for all the rows i can convert this into percent but i'll leave it like that this is the estimated probability of failure represented in median ranks so estimated probability of survival or reliability would be 1 minus this number so i select 1 minus the median rank and that gives me the estimated reliability at those hours so the hours are given here and reliability is given here now we could directly plot these two 
to find out whether it is fitting in exponential distribution. So I select failure hours and reliability and I say insert scatter plot. So this is the scatter plot of hours that is time versus reliability. Now we can add a trend line to the scatter plot. Select any point on the scatter plot. Right click on the mouse and add trend line. Now you have to select exponential and you have to choose display equation on the chart, display R square value on the chart and also set intercept equal to one because our equation is R of t equal to e to the power minus lambda t. There is no constant. So we have to choose one. So we get the line. So the equation is y is equal to e to the power minus 4 into 10 raised to minus 4x. And the r square value is 0.9995. So r square value is good. That means 99.95% of variation in y, that is reliability, can be explained with time with this exponential distribution. Having said that, the lambda is equal to 4 into 10 raised to minus 4 or 0 0.0004. So I put lambda equal to 0 0.0004 and MTTF will be reciprocal of that. Alternately, we could also directly plot the logarithm of reliability the equation we have seen before. So this is the equation ln of reliability of t is equal to minus lambda t. So we can directly fit a straight line and the slope of that line would give us lambda. In that case, we select the failure hours, press control button. In that case, we will have to calculate the logarithm of reliability. So I'll say equal to ln of reliability. That will be a negative number. So these are the logarithm values. Now I select the failure hours, press the control button and select the ln of reliability. And now I again insert a scatter plot. And now I can fit a, it looks like a following a straight line. So I click on the points, add a trend line. Now I can select linear display equation, display R square value on the chart, but we must set intercept is equal to zero. Why? Because at time is equal to zero, reliability will be equal to one and therefore ln of reliability will be zero. So we set intercept equal to zero. And now we look at this equation that it has given. I'll just enlarge the size of the font so that it is readable. So now you say y is equal to minus 0 0.0004 and r square value 0.9995 tells us the kind of fit, whether the data fits well. I can convert this into a percent value. So I can say that 99.95% variation in ln of reliability is, is explained by time. So this is the procedure and we have we have plotted this probability plot for the exponential distribution and we have also estimated the lambda which is 0 0.0004 and MTTF which is reciprocal of lambda which is 2500. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it worth watching. Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on Reliability Engineering, Six Sigma and Statistical Quality Control. Click the subscribe and bell icon for getting intimations on the future videos.